here we are at Burke Mill School in Harlow, chatting to some of the students about how they or their families arrived in Harlow. I'm Trudy Harper, and this is... Jennifer Beale, Layla Lock Edwards, William Hearn, Celia Mumby, Zoe Andean, Joseph Clark, Lily Drain, Marley Jones, Ellie Griffiths, Kane Marks, Clay Longhurst, Fred Dawson, Grace Haynes. Right, well perhaps you could start it off. Um, is anybody new to Harlow? Have they moved here during their own childhood that they can remember? Uh, I have. I moved here when I was five years old uh, due to being closer to London because before I moved to Harlow I lived in Plymouth and uh, my mum got a job in London and due to being quite close to, like, on the outskirts of London we decided to move here. Okay, and um, can you remember living in Plymouth quite clearly? Uh, yeah, I remember my primary school in Plymouth called St, uh, St. James and uh, I went there till I was about four, I think, and then I moved up here. And did you find great changes coming to Harlow? Um, I can't really remember the changes, but uh, a lot of the um, sites and uh, like the, like, I don't want to say culture, but the, uh, I, don't know, I don't know what the word is, was quite different, like the architecture, I don't yeah. know, it's quite different. Is, is that, do you think, because it's a new town? Um, I think it's because one, it was, uh, it's a sculpture town, so there's like different statues, and uh, because Plymouth was by the sea, so uh, it is quite a different area to move to. Oh, thank you. That's really, really interesting. And how about anybody else? How do you know how you came to grow up in Harlow? Was it your mum, and your dad that moved here, or your grandparents? Um, my grandparents on my dad's side moved in. 1953 to Harlow because my um, granddad got a job at a house working as a supermarket manager. It's very interesting. Where did they live before? I don't know, sorry. <laughs> okay. So it's your father's parents that yeah. moved here and your father, did, did he meet a, a lady from Harlow? Uh, she's not from Harlow but they still, we still live here now. So. <laughs> right, and you've lived here all your life? Yeah. <coughs> Anybody else? Um, the, my grandparents on my mum's side, um, my granddad is from Leicester and he met my nan whilst they still live in Leicester and then he was a youth worker so he got a job down here in Harlow so that's where they moved. So many of you have come here for work, does anybody know whether their grandparents or even their uh, older than that came here because of the bombings in the east end of London? Um, we went to it after the war because the houses got bombed. So. Mm -hmm. And stayed? Yeah. And stayed. Yeah. And um, have any of you got older brothers and sisters that have settled here in Harlow after they've gone through school or been off to university or college and come back? Well, do you see yourselves perhaps going off to college or going off to explore a little bit? Do you see yourselves coming back to settle in Harlow? Is it, is it very dear to you? I personally um, um, enjoy the idea of, of an endeavour such as university and I understand the, the massive changes that it would involve. And, um, you know, for example, if I was going to go to university, a best case scenario in Cambridge per se, then I'd have to <coughs> relocate somewhere around the area. Um, upon my return to Harlow, um, depending on the economy of the houses and the, and the prices that I might have to pay to live here, and I would consider it as an option. Um, I do know that if I went to study at a university, then I uh, could possibly earn myself a job at a renowned position in London. However, the pricing of housing in London is extremely high, and I don't know if I'll be able to keep up with the ever-changing rates. Okay. What about socially? What does, what does Harlow do for you socially? What do you all do? Do you, do you cinema? Do you sport? What, what do you do in Harlow? What's here for you? You can be honest, just kind of whatever you... So you all go home and just sit at home? Nobody goes for a run? Tennis? Rugby, what do you do, my love? I do basketball. Basketball, here in Harlow? Yeah. And is it uh, an active...? Yeah, um, I do Harlow Hawks. It's been there for quite a while now. My uncles went there before I did. Well, that's very interesting. Your family talk about how facilities and things have grown in Harlow, how it's better for you than it was for them? Uh, yeah, like the schools have definitely improved from when uh, my uncles came here. Um, like um, this school actually, um, like it wasn't like the best when they came and now it's like really, really improved. 
And what about, um, you, you presumably all got friends from other schools as well. Um, what, what do they do? What do they do for hobbies? Drama, I think, is quite. Uh, yeah, um, I was just that's what I was about to say. I've got a friend in the same year as me who goes to Mark Hall, and we both go to the same drama school outside. It's at, um, it's in Old Harlow, St Nick's, and that's what I do. That's lovely. Do you put on productions? Yeah, we do. We are at the um, Victoria Hall Theatre in Old Harlow. That's really good. That's fun. Yeah. Do you think that Harlow looks after its young people? Uh, yeah, I think they do. Uh, like the um, ever-changing uh, town centre, for example, has got very different uh, activities that they offer up there, like bowling, swimming, and uh, yeah, and it and it keeps like people out of trouble, like the youth out of trouble, like because I know if like I didn't have all these different leisure activities and different things to do, then who knows what I'd be up to. Does anybody use the skate park at all? Not very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You've always fancied the skate park, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, now, you're, you are all doing history. Now, I know that the History GCSE course is quite formal and quite rigid, so you, ca you don't have time to go outside it. But I don't know, do the school do any local history? Do your parents have any interest in local history? Um, do you go to the museum? Do you, is there anything in Harlow that tickles your fancy? Do you want to talk about how yeah. that will be part of the curriculum? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, we have traditionally... Um, taught some history of Harlow, um, not a great deal, but some in year seven as a way of um, introducing um, pupils to um, historical skills. So everyone here would have done at least a few lessons of it in year seven. Um, but we're hoping moving forward that in all primary schools within our trust um, and within Burtmill itself as well, that pupils will have a great opportunity to explore local history. You mentioned the museum, which is a great resource and it's not um, used enough by schools, so we're hoping as well that we can forge links with them and, and uh, make sure that's more of a part of the group. Well, my parents were born in Harlow, but my dad's parents, like my dad was born in America, so my dad moved to Harlow because my dad's dad got a job here. I don't know, I can't remember what it was, but they got a job here, and then that's where he met my mum in Harlow. And whereabouts in America was your grandparents from? Um, Miami, I think. Okay. And what about your mum? Um, my mum originally, well, she was, she's moved around a lot. She was born in Kent and then later on lived in Stortford and then moved here and has stayed here since because of being married. Um, so you're very much a Harlow family. <laughs> yeah. What about you, sir? I don't know. You don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> but have you lived in Harlow all your life? Yeah. 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 And you don't know whether mum and dad have? No. no. What about grandparents? Are they local? Uh, yeah. In Harlow? So chances are they probably are a Harlow yeah. family. Yeah? How about you? Um, my mum's side of the family moved down from um, Cardiff. But my dad's side lived in London and they come closer to be um, other people in my family. So you, you already had family in Harlow? Yeah, so... Yeah, so they came to join people who were already living yeah. here. That's interesting. Yeah, we know you came from Plymouth. Yeah, yeah my, um, my nan and granddad moved from Leicester just after they got married because my granddad got a job as a youth worker. And then when my mum got married to my dad in 1999, the rest of my nan and granddad's family moved down, like my great nan and granddad. Roughly. And, uh, and, and how many have you still got in Harlow now? Um, quite a lot. My great-granddad passed about five years ago, but my great-nan's still here, and so is my grandparents and my aunts and cousins. Very big family. So can you see yourself coming back to live here or staying in Harlow? I don't think I'll move far, but maybe not Harlow, because I, I wouldn't want to move too far away from the family, because they're all based around here, but maybe somewhere just a little bit further. So from an being a new town, which Harlow was when it started, there is a great sense of family and community and people living here and having their families here. Um, my mum was born here in the late 60s and my dad moved down here in the late, uh, sorry, the early 90s after leaving the army, but that's, that's what I know. Okay, so you don't know how your mum's family came to be here, she was no. born here? No. Are, are grandma and granddad, are they still no, in no, Harlow? No, they're not like, they live in Norfolk now. They live in Norfolk now, yeah. did, they, they presumably did live in yeah, Harlow yeah. though. Um, I don't know where they are, we're from Orange, before moving to Harlow. So is it your mum and dad that yeah. 
Yeah, from Harlow. Um, my dad was born in Harlow, and my mum moved to Harlow because they uh, bought a house together. Yeah. Um, my dad's side of the family, um, his parents were born in Zimbabwe, but they came here um, to go to school, to go to uni, and then after five years they went back. And then um, in 2000, my grandma came down with her three sons, and then my mum joined them as well to look for work. In Harlow? Yeah. Do you know why they chose Harlow? Was it because there was work here? Um, my grandma uh, has you know, lots of friends here, and they told her it was a good town and they needed a fresh start. So they thought Harlow was a good place. So you, you've got quite a lot of family here? Yeah. That's cool. And Sensibly. Yeah. <laughs> so on my dad's side of the family, they live in Onga. I'm not sure about the great grandparents' side of it, but my granddad and nan on that side of the family all live in Onga. Um, my dad grew up in Onga. <laughs> he found work in Stortford, but um, I'm not sure of the reasons why, but he did buy a house in Harlow after meeting my mother. And on her side of the family, it goes back to the great-grandparents who originate from Norfolk um, around the times of World War II. And by trade, he used to ride around on a horse and like, be a market man to the film stars at the time. Uh, my nan then chose to break the tradition of moving around Norfolk like her, the rest of her family did and she came to Harlow because of the good housing. Uh, she also worked on the Tube and because um, Harlow was one of the locations greatly involved with her career, she met my grandfather, they're still together, and they purchased a house in Harlow. Uh, they were very cheap prices back then. Um, I'm not entirely sure where my great grandparents lived before they came here, but they came here because my um, great granddad Bert started to build like houses here. So, so he, he was involved in the trade here. of growing the town. Yeah, yeah, and they all stayed. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Um, my mum was born in Manchester, but they moved here because my granddad um, got a job as the manager of the Harvey Centre. So he had that for like a number of years, and then they decided to stay because they really liked like the surroundings and what Harlow had to offer. So yeah. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, so on my mum's side of the family, uh, her parents moved to Harlow from eastern North London because my granddad was involved in the building trade and wanted um, or found work um, in the uh, quickly growing town. And on my dad's side of the family, um, his parents moved to Harlow because his dad was a um, church minister and was appointed one of the first ministers of the new church that's been built and so came over as a result from originally Coventry but via uh, Beckensburg. And what about yourself? Did you, were you educated in Harlow? Born and bred, yeah, here in uh, Harlow. You presumably went off to university or to college I somewhere. did, yeah. Uh, as with um, some of the pupils who have said they're kind of keen to move out, I had the same attitude at the time but yeah. um, quickly found actually that um, Harlow had a lot to offer in terms of its location and also the fact I still had family here so I was keen to move back. So did you come straight back after uh, Not straight back, but um, fairly quickly back after a couple of years. Yeah. And now you're here to stay? Here to stay, yeah. Yeah, some shopping. Yeah, we have really good shopping facilities, and um, especially now, we're getting like a lot more new shops coming in. So very good TK Maxx. Mm. I do love I TK Maxx. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, there's, there's, we've got two cinemas now. There's a new one in the Harvey Centre, so it's really convenient because you can go shop and then go watch a film. That's yeah. what I tend to do at the weekend. That's good. Yeah, and that's here for you. You haven't got to travel for that. Where I, where my kids grew up, they had to go. They had to travel for 30 minutes to get to a cinema. Weekends, that, well, on great. Sundays, uh, I have my uh, PQA Pauline Quirk Academy because I'm into drama and I want to do it as a career when I'm older. And then after that, uh, I tend to go to the gym. It's quite helpful because PQA is at the Playhouse, Harlow Playhouse. Yeah. And then uh, the the gym I go to, Exercise for Less, which is uh, just recently opened, is uh, in town as well. So it's quite handy. It's by the bus station. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then uh, I spend uh, my uh, Sunday evenings at the gym a couple of hours, and then I walk home. That's my Sunday. Yeah. I was just going to say, like, whilst a lot of new things has been opening, it's more or less kind of the same. Like, whilst there is a new cinema and it is convenient, doing the same thing on the weekends can be a bit boring because, like, in Harlow, whilst there are like 
clubs and like stuff for like drama and like going to the gym to do like more social things. Like while she can go to the town, there's only so many times you can go to the town before getting bored and obviously like and going running out of money. Yeah, exactly. That's what she's <laughs> about to say. Like obviously you can go to the town, but you need the money if you're going to go shopping and for food and stuff like that. Yeah. Can I, can I ask just, you know, from that word, we're talking about why I said what made me move. I can remember in January 1981, my second A-level English paper, looking out the window and saying, I have to get out of this place. If I don't, I will die. Mm. All right? And I, so that's part of history, you know, part of our thing saying, make no bones about it, that's how I felt. And, you know, and as, as soon as I got those three A-levels, you know, vroom, straight up, 400 miles north. You know, um, not to be seen, well, once a year, but 25 years. Is it, you know, so if we're being honest about the history, why they came here, why they stayed with, is anybody here says, oh, I just want to get out of here? Now we're talking. <laughs> All right? Okay, so, you know, that's part of this. This is not a sort of photoshopping Harlow in that way. So, let's go. And that's a really normal thing. Yeah. People, young people are 15 and 60. In fact, I'd be more worried if you all said, actually, I'm going to start my Saturday job and start saving from a deposit on the house. Because you should actually be running. I was absolutely determined I would never come back. Yeah. Okay. So let's, let's go from the hands that went up, yeah. And I just feel like there's not enough to experience here. And repeating the same things, like Lily said, can get quite boring. So I feel like once I have my A-levels, I feel like I need to go out to gain new experiences and then maybe come back when I'm a bit older. But I definitely need to leave at one point. Yes. What about Harlow for younger people than you? Harlow for up to 12 year olds, is there a lot for them to do perhaps? And perhaps that's where, that, perhaps that's what the community's like, it's the family community rather than the young person's community. There is definitely quite a lot of like clubs for younger children and normally run through the school but I still feel like there's not enough to do. Um, young children like do need to be watched and like supervised and stuff but I still don't feel like there is quite enough being done. Can we back to more people who put their hands up regarding why they want to get out of here as soon as possible? Because <laughs> you know, that's really part of, you know, we want to look back on this, etc. Yeah. Lily, do you want to? I think Lee wanted to go. If you're going to talk to Lee, sensibly. I haven't, I'm not so far. <laughs> so to be brutally honest, I don't think Harlow has really anything to offer for the young people apart from the facilities such as the leisure zone and the cinemas. I think it's too industrialised. I think there's four McDonald's in the town. There's about three Tesco's, there's a lot of supermarkets. I think the town centre, I think, to be honest, is not great. I think that travelling out to places such as London that's not too far away because of the train station, we've got Bishop Storford that's not too far away. I think the shops in Harlow really are bad. Quite a lot of them are closing down, such as British Home Stores. There are a lot of the shops that have relocated from the town centre. And I think if you want to do some actually decent quality shopping, the only shops, there's only about three shops that you can go to. There's not a lot to offer up the town. Well, I don't really want to stay in Harlow because once you pass your GCSEs, there's a lot more opportunities open up. So, so I don't even know so what would I'm you, Would you consider going and doing your A-levels after Harlow? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to go to Hartford College. That's not in Harlow. Yeah. And um, I'm going to be living with my dad for a little while. So I'll be out of Harlow for a good three years. Experiences. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Anyone else? Who else is on the, on the move? Um, my grandparents, well, my grandma now, uh, lived in Bath, over by Bristol, and um, once I finish my A-levels and stuff, I'd like to go and live in Bath, because there's some beautiful houses over there, and, uh, you know, and maybe get a job over there and then, like, expand from there, because just to, like, spend, like, some more time with my grandma, you know, and my mum and stepdad want to move up there as well, and get a house up there, so, yeah. New horizons. Mm. Yeah. Anyone else moving off? Anyone moving off to GCSEs? Oh, not, no. not I, I, I was agreeing what Jim was saying. Like after doing my A levels and everything, and then going to university. Like I'd like to go to a university that's not near Harlow, so I could. So you don't live at home. Yeah, yeah I'd like to new like Jim was saying, like go get new experiences and live out in the world because if. Like, I've got nothing against living at home whilst you like going to uni, but personally I'd like to have independence for a while. But like Liam was saying earlier, like Harlow is very much I think Harlow is very much a family based town. So I could maybe see myself coming back at the end, like towards the end of my youth. Yeah. 
kind of thing. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've, I've got a lot of family here. Like, I've got my mum's family, my dad's family, and like, my stepmum's family all of them in Harlow. Harlow's given you a springboard. Yeah. A springboard to go out and explore, and then maybe spring back. <laughs> is it hard to relate? You know, I'm talking about people who moved here in 1947 or 1957, or even I, you know, I bounced 1981 around, you know. Um, is it hard to relate these dates? And the thing about history, do you think, I just don't really, I don't really get it, and I don't really care. You know, it's, it's okay, you know, in history sort of thing. Is it, is it hard to relate to, or interest of what, where your grandparents or great parents or parents have come from? Are you just, are you more like living in the now? And is that what it's all about? Liam? Personally, um, I don't, I wouldn't say I exactly find the town's history interesting in the slightest, but that's well, what about your, what about your parents and your grandparents' history? You know, are you that interested or are you just too young at the moment? Well, I think occasionally I do get told stories about what they used to do in their endeavours in the past, but after hearing the story so many times and it just seems to be the same thing over and over again, it's just gotten to the point where... I don't really care anymore because I... 70 years ago, because we needed housing. Now that provided work for people, as many of your relatives came. It came here and gave them work, and then they, they've grown up and the communities have now grown. But how does that feel? Would, does that feel strange, or do you just take it for granted? Because after all, it's been here all your life, so does it matter that it hasn't been here the 500 years of the town up the road? But, it, but it's still, I mean, it's, it's still got uh, an incredible history dating all the way back to the Romans, and we have, you know, the temple, yeah. or the leftovers of it in Temple Field, which archaeologists suggest is an incredibly important um, site for various different reasons. We've got um, the name itself might be Roman or Saxon in origin. We've got a deserted medieval village over in the in the um, in the old town. We've got the parishes that make up the town itself. I mean, that the history of the town itself is incredibly rich. It uh, is. From 1947. You're right, as a, as a new town, as it a becomes, new town. Town, becomes that town, but the history of it is far richer than just 1947, and that's it for nothing. But perhaps in a way, it's, it's evolved differently, yes. hasn't it? It's yeah. evolved differently, and does that make a difference to you? <laughs> you wouldn't. But would some of you? Or St Albans, or all those places around you where you've probably been taken on school trips. I, I can guarantee that when you did the Romans, you probably went further afield than Harlow to explore the Roman ruins. <laughs> I think the fact that we live here is just kind of where we live. We don't really think of it as anywhere else. Like we just think of the town as the town, not what was there a hundred years ago. Do you not find it odd though that sometimes, like if you wander around other towns, you come across occasionally like a really old building, whereas mm -hmm. when you're wandering around Harlow, you barely, barely ever mm -hmm. come across any building that's kind of before the 1940s. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can go from one end of the town to the other and not come across anything that is older than 1947. Mm -hmm. Does, is that weird compared to when you go to other towns? Yeah. Does it register in your mind at all? <laughs> Can you name anybody interesting that you've met in Harlow? You think that was an interesting person I once met. You're how old are you? Fifteen? Fifteen, sixteen, you think he was interesting, she was interesting, they were interesting. Big nasty. Big <laughs> nasty. <laughs> Roman joking at Tesco. Um, <laughs> he is a famous UK rapper who featured in the song uh, Baseline Drops, I think that's what it's called, with, but uh, featuring Craig David. And uh, he also has his own TV show on BBC Three. And uh, to see him up Tesco just doing his everyday thing, it's quite interesting because you know that like, Harlow like, is also a place for celebrities. And that's quite like, well, like, I live here, not uh, celebrities, well... So you know is what? anyone following Strictly? Yeah. You have, a, you have a celebrity on there, don't you? Hmm? He lives around the corner from me. Does he? Because I live in Old Harlow. You live in Old Harlow? Do you? 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 Osagi or Osagi? Osagi. Osagi. Um, What's the footballer? Yeah. Glenn Hoddle. Glenn Hoddle. Glenn. 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 Um, we hope to come back in 2022 and even possibly 2047. Um, I'll be 85, but same age as Clint Eastwood is, and he's still directing movies. Um, uh, but, probably still um, need a driver. I probably need a driver <laughs> still, yeah. <laughs> Two broken toes, in case you want. Um, where do you hope to... Um, where do you hope to be in, um, in 10 years? Say, say 10 years.
in conclusion, 10 years, we'll come back, say, say we did, did then. Um, what would you hope is happening to you? Well, you're 15, aren't you? Yeah. 15? 16. 16. Oh, do apologise. So. 26 years of age. You're quarter, just past your quarter of a century. Where do you hope to be then? Not only professionally, but in yourselves, etc. In conclusion. Shout out. Well, I know where I want to be. Yeah. I want to be on the big screen. <laughs> you know, in cinemas. Marley James. Big actor. Known worldwide. Household name. Um, <laughs> you, know. you best get interested in her neighbour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And although, although people are laughing, the answer is why not, isn't it? Yeah. I, I, th I think I have the drive, determination, passion... Like I've already done li little bits and bobs, it's just getting there which is the hard bit. Uh, and I think once I'm there, I think hopefully my raw talent and good looks will uh, push me up to the top. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm not that way. <laughs> Anybody else before? Because that's a nice conclusion. Yes, I'm ready. Um, on 10 years, I hope to be more confident and be able to find myself. I want to do music. And I want to be more behind the scenes. Um, so I hope that like I'll be able like to come back. I would like to come back home in a few years' time because Harlow is really a safe place for me. So um, I'd like to come back and probably teach music here. Yeah.